Christ is in our midst. Welcome back to the Orthodox Talk channel. Today we are talking about the cross of Jesus Christ and how the cross affects our daily life. How can it be helpful for us on a daily basis? The cross of Jesus Christ is something every Christian needs to keep in mind all the time. During the ecclesiastical or church year, we are reminded of the cross many times. Besides special dedicated celebrations, the church reminds us of the cross every single Friday. Have you ever given a thought about why we need to be mindful of the cross of Christ throughout our Christian life? Well, there are two reasons for that, my friends. First, we need to remember who and how had put an end to the curse of death. Second, we need to see that the crucified Savior and our Lord Jesus Christ is helping us personally by means of the same cross to overcome our difficulties and suffering and find ultimate hope. If the first reason is quite general and affects us all without exception and lies in the field of the church dogma of the salvation of the people, the second reason is very personal and unique for each one of us. Since we already have a video on the first reason for celebration of the cross of Jesus Christ about the salvation of all, I will include the link to that video in the description below. And today I want to emphasize and collaborate on the second reason, which is the cross in our personal lives. I think it will be much easier for us to understand this reason if we take a look at the cross. What do we see there? You see two cross bars on which Jesus was crucified. Now, the Orthodox tradition depicts the Lord on the cross, not in agony, but in such a way that we see him spreading his hands and in being ready to embrace us, hug us, support us, and uphold us. But how do we see this very cross with Jesus on it in our personal and daily lives? How does this cross happen in my personal life? The theology of the cross, if we may use this term, of course, expects us to see Jesus' hands on the cross, reaching out to, the, to all the ends of the world. He is ready to embrace us. He is ready to welcome everyone. And now, please pay attention. Our personal experience of the cross of Christ in a life full of troubles, problems, mishaps, mistakes, sins, etc. starts in that very moment when we put these troubles, problems, mishaps, mistakes and sins onto his embracing arms. Now I want you to imagine the horizontal bar of the cross that represents the arms of Jesus Christ. Look what will happen if we put our troubles upon this bar. What do you see? Yes, there is a cross right there, right away. If we put our problems there, it will be a cross. If we put our sins there, there will be a cross. If we put our joy, hope or excitement there, it will still be a cross. I strongly believe, dear friends, that every time we bring our suffering to Jesus Christ, our Savior, we understand that it becomes our cross. But not just becomes our cross, but we see that we are not left alone on it. Because the supporting hand of the Son of God is there as well. He is with us in our suffering, telling us to brace ourselves because He conquered death. He is with us in our problems, telling us to hold on to Him, and He will help us to get through. That's what my personal cross or our personal crosses mean when we bring whatever we have in our heart, bring it to Him. That's when we form this cross. And that's how the cross of Jesus Christ becomes personal. No wonder the Orthodox Church has made so many beautiful hymns that glorify Jesus Christ on the cross and cross itself, because it becomes the source of our joy. During the Feast of the Exaltation of the Holy Cross, the Orthodox Church sings many beautiful hymns that give praises to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and to the cross itself. And, of course, there is no way I can give you all, all the hymns today, right now. You can look it up on the internet. 
But today I want to bring to your attention this very hymn that backs up the words that I just said prior to the reading. You are the boast of the faithful, the support of those who suffer. See, exactly what I was telling you. The glory of the apostles, the champion of the righteous, and the preservation of all the saints. Support. He, he is our support. Therefore, beholding you raised on high, creation rejoices and celebrates, glorifying Christ, who has joined together through you that which was divided in his infinite goodness. We were divided. We were far away from, from God. Jesus comes on the cross, spreads his hands. We bring our troubles, our problems, our joy to him. And his cross becomes our cross. And our cross becomes his cross. He is with us. He is with us as soon as we want to stop making mistakes and falling into sins. He is with us, giving us his grace and power to overcome them. So it is only natural for a Christian to remember the cross and to acknowledge it in our lives. Thank you for watching to the end. I hope this video was interesting. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done it yet. Leave a comment or two and give it a thumb up if you like it. God bless us all.